Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will share with you an unboxing and first look of a new concept knife that I recently got and uh, this will be uh, the uh, KTC 3. So like all concept knives it comes with a really nice sturdy designed uh, box and with all the bells and whistles large microfiber cloth some literature about the warranty uh, silica package and nice design uh, pouch with a heavy duty plastic baggie branded of course made in china and the knife itself so the ktc3 is uh, a uh, knife that was designed by Justin Koch of uh, Koch Tool and uh, if I'm not mistaken this is one of the first compound ground uh, knife in this series uh, that they uh, use the micarta uh, scales but I will be talking about a different variation so uh, please stay tuned for that they are lots of lots of the uh, variations of this knife, of course. So the model number is uh, T1031B2. It is a really beautiful functional uh, hogbill design knife. A little bit on the smaller side for uh, my extra large hand, of course. But uh, for you, maybe uh, this will be the perfect size. I just wish it was a little bit larger. So the specifications are, we have a overall length of 17 centimeters or 6.7 uh, inches. Please keep in mind this is a hog wheel design, so it is uh, curved. So if this was be a straight edge, it will be a little bit longer. The blade is uh, 7.5 centimeters long or three inches. Uh, the width is 3.1 centimeters or uh, 1.2 inches. Uh, the thickness is 3.5 millimeters or 0 0.14 inches. Uh, the handle is 10.3 centimeters or 4 inches long with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. The materials used on this one we have on the blade uh, 154 cm uh, with a beautiful hog wheel uh, profile with compound ground. As you can see right there. And it has a, a stone washed uh, titanium coating. On the handles we have nice raw uh, natural canvas micarta scales and underneath we have heavy skeletonized stainless steel uh, liners which are also in the same finish as the blade so the black uh, uh, titanium uh, finish. Lock we have liner lock Period assembly it rides on uh, cage ball bearing washers so it is really nice and smooth let me see nice centering and really nice opening of course blade play none whatsoever up or down For opening, as you can see there, we have, we have only flipper, but it can be also opened uh, via these two nice large grooves. Maybe also finger flick, yes, we can finger flick it, but on also uh, two-handed opening is possible also. On the blade we have the Cancer logo, the blade steel on the one side. On the other side we have Cox tools and there should be somewhere also the model number. There it is. KTC3. For the pocket clip uh, they designed a 3D milled really nice uh, looking pocket clip with this half ball spherical shape and we have medium to light uh, stiffness or tension. Okay, let's see the pocket profile really quickly. 
and it, it goes without any kind of problems. This is how much it will be sticking out. Okay, let's see the sharpness out of the box. Yeah. It is sharp. But it could use a little bit of stropping. Like most of the knives uh, do. Like I mentioned, the scales are canvas, natural canvas micarta, so these are uh, not heat treated, uh, not heat treated. <laughs> they are not um, uh, treated with any kind of oil or buffing compound, so it is up to you if you like to darken them up, and uh, if not, then just by uh, carry they will darken on you a little bit more. As far as uh, comparisons, I brought out a few uh, concept knives that have different uh, micartas on it. This one is a natural, brown natural style. Uh, by my opinion, it is a little bit uh, treated with some, some kind of probably uh, buffing compound. Here is the same micarta, which is pristine. Uh, this is a little bit stained by probably handing and uh, a little bit of oils seeping out through the uh, pivot assembly right there. And here is another version of the older micarta they used in the past. So my best guess is uh, if you darken this up a little bit with the oil, uh, you can expect something like this uh, color uh, variation. Okay, as far as weight goes, uh, the knife weighs 102 grams or 3.6 ounces. Like I mentioned, uh, you have quite a few variations you can choose from. So the, uh, this variant uh, here on the table costs uh, $89, uh, dollars. something in the similar price point uh, uh, also in euros. And you can choose from, there is a uh, dark green uh, G10, also black micarta, uh, dark blue, orange G10. Then we have a uh, lightning titanium anodization also a nice rich black titanium anodization. Then you have a uh, bead blasted titanium finish. The titanium ones cost around nine, uh, 190 dollars. And uh, you can also choose from a blue and green uh, titanium anodization and a uh, Timascus variant, which is the high-end version of this knife that will cost you around uh, uh, four. 50. In my opinion, uh, this micarta is uh, what speaks to me, <laughs> and uh, also the price is really, uh, really right. Uh, keeping this under uh, the $100 price point with 154 cm is uh, is a really good uh, thing that they do. I will certainly would like to see them uh, a little bit less, uh, maybe around uh, 69 to 70 dollars. But uh, let's face it, with the inflation, everything going on, uh, this is a this is excellent uh, excellent price point for these sorts of uh, beautiful custom design in a uh, production uh, package. Okay, so now let's see a few size comparisons. Uh, let me bring out a couple of knives. So the late, latest uh, Hogbill knife that I got for my collection uh, was this from uh, Beyond EDC. Uh, and fortunately, uh, I do not recollect the name, so sorry about that. Uh, but this is a Dirk Pickerton uh, design. As you can see there, uh, they are sort of a little bit of uh, the same size. Okay, so now let's continue with 
some other knives. So here is the QSP Penguin, oh, sorry, uh, CBB Elementum. Here is the QSP Penguin. Here's the paramilitary three. Tosha bug out. Pillar one from CRKT. The pillar four from CRKT. Small Cryptilian from Benchmate. Red Model 2. The Kaiser and Big Lighter 2. Spider Call Delica. Bug Vintage Select Small Here is a Rough Rider Peanut Nine forty from Benchmade. Here's a case, Salt Buster Junior. Ace Grand from Giant Mouse. And let's close it down with the Cable Dodge Folding Hunter. Okay, so let me give you one more uh, detail look on the blade and uh, in my opinion this is a another beautiful addition to the collection if you are collecting these uh, cancer knives and would like to have something uh, different uh, from a different uh, knife makers then uh, cancer is in my opinion a really great uh, place where you can uh, check out what they offer they have some really uh, different uh, uh, designs and also at a good uh, price point. I hope this will stay uh, as it is and uh, also in the future. Let me show you the, the similarities, the profile of the two blades right there. Yeah. So beyond EDC, cancel knives. And this was the Cancer Knives uh, KTC3. Uh, maybe there will be a KTC4 or maybe a other numbering uh, which uh, will have a larger uh, variance. I, I will be looking to forward to get those. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm Modern Peter Pan Suicide Can, of course. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. I try to listen to these three videos per week. Mostly nothing gear oriented, but sometimes a lot of stuff regarding my hobbies. That being said, wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon.